Good morning guys this is Utkarsh from Paraguay today we are going to learn about the microsoft flows how we can integrate microsoft flows with sharepoint and we will create a sample vacation approval workflow without writing a single line of code so so so, so let's start from let's start creating a vacation approval workflow so this is a list that i have already created hr request list where all the vacation uh, that request that has been created will come here and from here the workflow will be triggered our flow will be triggered okay so let's start creating a flow first so i will go with this thing create from blank so what we need to do is we need to trigger a workflow so we will find a action so create so it will give us the menu of so we'll select the sharepoint button when a new item is created so here we will pass the site url so up to test so enter custom value and then push the url okay okay so it will show you all the list so we will select our own list the hr request so their additional option we will leave it blank then new step go for a something I, I we need to send a mail whenever the new request has been occurred we will send a mail to his manager for the approval so we'll record something add an action here send and approval mail so there is an action here the office is divided out of account so here is the option so in my list there is a column called approval a people pick a column a person field so we selected to whom we need to send the approval email advanced option are there so body we will write something hi who has, uh, so created by display name the person name has requested for the time of starting start date We can change this in the requested time from start date to end date. So these are the fields that I have already created into the list: the start date, the end date, the notes, the approval, and the vacation status. So this is the advanced option that we need. Okay. So this is the send approval action. So it will return as two options whether it, the request has been approved or whether it has been rejected. So we add a condition here. Okay. The selected option is a return is an output from the send approval email. So it has two options either re receive or approved or reject. So we'll select if the value is approved, then perform this thing. Add an action, the yes condition, the true one. So what we will do is we will send an approval email. That your request has been approved to the employee. So, Office 55 send an email to the created by email. The person was requested for the time off. Subject can be anything. Time off approved. A basic simple thing. The body. Hi. Your time off has been approved by manager enjoy and the same thing with this thing if it has been rejected send an email the office is your office to create it by email so created by email subject is Time of rejected. The body will be high. Your time of being rejected by your manager. Okay. So one more thing that we need to do is we need to update our item, the vacation status, whether it has been approved or rejected. So we'll add one more action here after this thing. Update. 
so the SharePoint one you will search for. Yeah. SharePoint update item. Okay. So the URL we have already and the custom value the URL. The SharePoint test name. We will go with the HR request. The ID will be the current item ID. So this is the parameter the ID. Title will be provided. for now. We will provide it something like testing application. Then started will be started and date can be a. Then we will leave it as it is. The notes. Okay. So vacation status. So this is that we will continue for now. It's a single line of text. So we will approve. Okay. So same thing here also for the rejected. So we will say update. The shape on update. Yeah. Update item. The, the site you are done. Okay. The listening HR. Which I request. The ID will be an ID only. Take some time to load the ID. Title will be a demo flow scene. Start it. And now which will be the notes, vacation status. And we can select reject it. We can push this one also, vacation status here. For now, simple thing I will push it something rejected. Okay. Send it in, send it in, send it in. Okay. In the body part, I will add one more thing. Notes. Whatever the notes that the employer has filled in. The description about the vacation why is taking it okay so this is the basic flow so whenever the new item has been created so it will trigger us action so it will first send an email to its approval are uh, created by display name as requested time of started in the notes after the request has been approved or rejected it will send a notification to the employer and then will update the status vacation status so we'll name this flow as something Time of workflow. Okay, so just create a. Flow. Okay, so it has been created. Manage. So these are the previously created the twenty one minutes ago, but yeah, this one the time of flow. So, okay, so we'll create one entry into the HR request list. It will be something test flow. start day. Suppose I'm applying from 15 to 22. The notes going home for festival. The approval for now, I will keep my myself as approval. So, of course, vacation. So, for this, leave it blank. Save. So on the flow itself, you can see whether the flow has been executed or not. So go to the something here. Sorry. So let's just get the mail. So let's go to my inbox. So you can see 
request for your input. I of course you has requested your time off from this team 14 19 to 21 and the notes is going on for festival. So I have two options here whether I need to approve or reject it. So I will go for approve. So it will end up to me this page. The thanks for response has been successful registered. And just now so let's see another mail with it. So this thing. Hi, your time off has been approved by a manager. So this is the approval name. So let's see whether the status has been updated the list also. So you can see this is a demo flow and this is the work for status approved. And we can also track the updates from here. So it will give us the description whether the flow has been succeeded or not. So it has succeeded. So okay. So we'll create one more request for the rejected one. So test game start date from twenty two So these are called dynamic things, we have not outputted anything. We will just save it for now. Okay. Let's check. Let's wait for the email also. New email. Okay. So this is the email the request for is requested from 19 to 22, going with family on tip. So have this option. So I will go for reject for this one. Thank you for response. Reject has been successful as you say. Now see with the, the reject notification. Okay. So this one. Subject is time of rejected. I or time of has been rejected by a manager. Okay. So, so the, and let's see whether the status has been updated or not. So reject it. The demo for the title. You can see the different different title going in this thing. Okay. So this is the basic workflow that we can create without writing a single line of code, without using any shape on designer. So, so so this is very quick, and we can just really design it on a go using this using browser only. And it's a, just a 10 to 15 minute of task that will give you something a new workflow that we need to create. We can update it. We can track the status whether the workflow is triggered or not. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. You can visit us at www.paralate.com. Thanks. Have a great day.